Okay, so today we're going to look at some quick and simple tips on how to reduce or eradicate buffering on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. Hold tight, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So it's really annoying if you're watching a TV series or a film and suddenly the thing starts buffering. And once it starts buffering, quite often it doesn't just do it once, it does it a dozen times or just carries on until you end up giving up on it. So these simple tips are designed just to quickly and easily eradicate those problems if you're facing that situation. So the very first thing to try is if you haven't unplugged it from the mains for a while is literally unplug your fire stick from the mains. Let all the power drain out of it. So leave it for about five minutes. Whilst you've got it unplugged, then also if you haven't unplugged your router from the mains or your Wi-Fi access point from the mains for a while, then maybe do that too. So just unplug the power from it and again let all the power drain out of it so leave it for about five minutes if you can now there's a couple of reasons why i said about unplugging your router well one is because it clears out all the temporary files now i wouldn't say unplug your router every day but perhaps once every two or three months is a good idea but not only does it clear out the temporary files in the router and gives it a, a fresh start, makes it run faster and better for you, but also there is a chance that many routers have automatic sensing on Wi-Fi channels. And what that means is, is they often will change channel if they find a certain frequency that your Wi-Fi is broadcasting or receiving on becomes too congested. Now, sometimes they do that automatically. Other times they only do that when the router has started up. So when it's been powered down and powered back up again. So again, by unplugging the router from the mains for a few minutes and plugging it back in could mean that your router could find a better and clearer Wi-Fi channel for your Fire Stick and other devices to operate on. As I say, probably worth doing once every couple of months just to give it a bit of a refresh. Then we want to plug the router back into the mains, leave it for another five minutes because it's going to take a little while to get itself set back up. And then after five minutes, what you want to do is you want to plug your fire stick back in once again to the mains and give it a try. So just plug the uh, plug the cable back in. It only goes one way. There we go. If that still hasn't resolved your problem, then the next best thing to do is go into settings, go down to applications and go down to manage installed applications and just make sure that you've got more than one GB of space available on your Fire Stick or Cube. As you can see on mine, I've got eight GB, but if you've got less than one GB, then it's quite possible that the cache for a lot of these apps that stream stuff may not be big enough to store the amount of data needed to do a, a, a reliable stream for you. So if that's less than one GB, then go into manage installed applications and just go through the list of apps and any that you don't need. Just go through and just press the play pause button to remove them. Now, there's some of them like the Amazon stuff that unfortunately you just can't remove. Unfortunately, they just don't let you. Now, if there is stuff on here that you think to yourself, I really don't want to remove that, then you have now got the option, if you go back, of automatic offload. So if that's switched off, then you can turn it on. What it will do is it will offload any apps that you haven't used in the last few months, and it'll automatically put them back on as and when you use them, retaining any saved data like usernames and passwords and settings, etc. So that's another good little idea there. So if you've rebooted your stick, you've rebooted your router, you have found that you've got enough space, what's next? Well, let's just go into network just there. Select the Wi-Fi that you uh, are currently connected to and just press the play pause button on the remote control. And here 
it will go through and it will tell you of any issues it can find with regards to Wi-Fi. So, and it will give you recommendations as well if needed. Now you can also run a speed test from here. So you can just go down to run speed test. Now generally for most things, you probably need at least I'd say 15 Mbps in terms of speed to get a good, clean, buffer free experience. So just let that run through. It can take a good few seconds and see what speeds you're actually getting. Now, if you're getting less than 15 Mbps, then the only thing I can suggest is really is to try or a couple of things I can suggest is to try moving your router up a little bit higher. Make sure there's nothing obstructing its signal. So make sure there's no photographs in front of the router. If it's in a cupboard, then take it out the cupboard or at least open the cupboard door to let the signal out. Um, if you can try and make sure that any doors between your fire stick or where your fire stick's located and your router are open to again, let the radio waves through. If you can try moving your fire stick or your fire TV cube around. I mean, one of the suggestions I made in a video I done a few days ago was to perhaps buy an HDMI extension cable and then you can move your fire stick from back, from out of back of the TV. TV because the back of the TV is probably one of the worst places to receive Wi-Fi signals, especially if your Wi-Fi router is away from your actual TV, because obviously you've got a lot of electronic equipment, metal that's in the front of the TV, that that weak Wi-Fi signal has got to try and penetrate through. And sometimes it does a really poor job of doing that. Hopefully most of the time it does a good job. But if you've got less than 15 megabits per second, then like I say, try moving your router up, down, left, right. Try and make sure that its antennas have got a clear signal out or a clear path out. If you've got your Wi-Fi router quite close to your TV already and you've already tried powering it off and powering it back on again as of the first step and you're still getting a low speed, then perhaps give your internet service provider a call. Ask them, first of all, what speed you're expected to receive. What speed are you paying for? and then ask them what speed are you actually getting or what speed is your router actually getting and just make sure there's no problems on your line. So the other thing you can try and do is some apps, not all of them, but some apps like say for instance, the BBC iPlayer, if you go into that and then once you're into your app, go down to settings. So let's just go down there and then go into settings again. And as you can see here on the BBC iPlayer, we've got video quality. So what we can do is at the moment, a, a standard it's set to best quality, which may be the clearest picture, but it may mean that your picture buffers occasionally if you're not getting the best speed. So I would say if you are still getting buffering, then try lowering the quality. Like for instance, there on the BBC iPlayer, I can lower it to standard definition. Now, I know, I know I'm using the BBC iPlayer as an example, and not all apps have this facility, but have a look in the settings to see if there is any way that you can change the video quality. And also, if you can, the sound quality as well. Try and change the sound quality from things like Dolby 5.1 to stereo, because that takes less data to be able to do that. And therefore, should give you a smoother, better playback. If you go into something like YouTube, then what you will find is in YouTube itself, whilst you don't have a, uh, a video quality uh, playback setting in the settings, if you go into a video on YouTube, then what you can do is you can go down and across to the settings cog, go into that and there you go, you've got the quality. Now the quality is automatic selected for you. But if you choose a lesser quality, then it might be that it buffers less frequently. Now, a lot of the streaming platforms now have automatic selection. So what they do is they check your speed before you start playing something and choose what they feel is the best quality for the speed that your device is currently getting. But sometimes these automated systems, as we know, 
do get it wrong. An extra tip if you use Prime Video and you want to reduce buffering, then go into the settings on the Fire TV Stick or Cube, down to Preferences, Middle Button, go down to Data Usage Monitoring, Middle Button, turn Data Usage Monitoring on if you've got it switched off, and then go down to Set Video Quality, Middle Button, and set that to Good or Better. Try each of those and see which one works best for you. And another thing to try is if you're connected to a VPN and you really don't have to be, then disconnect from the VPN because VPNs can often slow down your streaming experience. Whilst they do protect your privacy in some respects, most services, streaming services don't really need them, especially legal ones. In some cases, using a VPN can really hinder your streaming experience. So wherever possible, do turn them off. So I do hope one of these tips did help. If one of them did, then let us know in the comments down below. If you've got any other suggestions, then let us know in the comments down below. There are plenty of other suggestions that I can think of, but these are really designed to be sort of quick tips. So that if you are watching something, then uh, of course it might help you just get you by to watch the remainder of the program or the film. Of course, sometimes the problems might not be at your end. It might be the problem of the server that you're connecting to. So it's always a good idea as well to perhaps check down detector to see whether other people are receiving the same issues as you. That's downdetector.com or if you're in the UK, it's downdetector.co.uk. Well, I hope this video helped and if it did, consider making a donation to this channel and hitting that thanks button. Or if you're looking for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, or even a mesh network system, System. We've got some links down in the description for you. Have a look in my Amazon store. I've got loads of links to loads of things that I've bought recently and just loved off of Amazon. And hopefully you will do too. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you think any of your friends, your relatives or your work colleagues might like any of the videos on my channel, please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines. Thanks for watching.